Okay, assalamu alaikum. Our today's target was to do the viruses classification. And uh, without any further delay, I will share the screen with you. So this is the chart. Okay, first of all, we'll set the rule that what would be the components like? Selecting a pen, okay. The inner component would be either DNA or RNA. They would be uh, having a positive strand or a negative strand. Shape or the capsid would be either icosahedral or helical. And the outer component, first we did the inner component. Now we are doing the outer component envelope. It would be either not present or present. If it's not present, we call it naked. And if it is present, we call it envelope. And for convenience, we have this rule that icosahedral are positive stranded and helical are negative stranded and are usually enveloped and icosahedral are naked. So this rule goes along for convenience. We'll assume it. So first of all, this is our DNA classification. We have written the same rule here. We don't need to focus on it. We have written it here. So we assume or we believe that most DNA viruses are double-stranded. They are double-stranded. They have a positive strand and shape-wise they are icosahedral. So we are discussing the shape or the strand here. We have set it as double-stranded positive icosahedral DNA viruses. Then we discuss what sort of envelope they have. If they don't have an envelope, we call them the naked viruses. And if we have a cover, a sheet, then we call them the envelope viruses. They are further divided into these families. And the mnemonic is P -A -P -P -Pap -Hap H H P. Okay, I'll undo it because it looks ugly. It's already ready. So for PAP, we have parvovirus. Parvoviruses are further called the B19, the adenoviruses, which basically cause pharyngitis, the papilloma viruses, we have HPV in that category. Then we have the polyoma viruses, which are further divided into JC and BK. We have the mnemonic junkie, cerebellum, and the bad kidney. Um, you can consult your first aid for this part. And then for HHP, we have the hep Edna virus uh, and herpes and the pox virus. Hep Edna are the HPV virus. So we also have this mnemonic that hepatitis B is a hep Edna or a DNA virus. Now, if you go back, read For example, we will read it backwards. HPV is a DNA virus, which is enveloped. It is positively uh, double-stranded and then it causes a hydral virus. So we get a lot of information from this chart alone. The herpes viruses are quite, um, I think we have a big page on FA, uh, one or two pages that are dedicated only to the herpes viruses. The HSV1, HSV2, the EBV virus, this EBV is also called HHV4, and the CMB virus, uh, cytomegalovirus, and the VZB virus, which is also called a chickenpox virus, or the other name is HHV3 virus. And then we have the HHV6 and HHV8. HHV8 is also called the Kaposi uh, sarcoma virus. Then we have last pox virus. The pox virus has smallpox cowpox and molluscum contagiosum and now we will 
uh, see the exceptions. These viruses which have been circled, these are the circular viruses. All other viruses have linear structures, okay? I think that is that, yeah. All circled viruses that are papilloma, polyoma, and hep viruses, they are circular and all others have linear structures. Uh, and then the ones I have marked with an L and they are at the outer edges are your exceptions. They do not fall in this category. So pox is a big virus. It's on the other extreme. And I have put pox in a box. So this right here. So pox has a huge cytoplasm and it replicates in its cytoplasm. While parvo is a tiny virus and it's not double-stranded, we have written the exception that it is a single-stranded DNA virus which has a negative coded strand. And when something is negative, it is helical. That rule that we formed up here, that helical has to be negative. Okay, this is all about our DNA viruses. Now the RNA viruses are a bit um, spread out, but let's try. So first we'll discuss the strand, that the strand is a single-stranded RNA strand, which could be positive. And if it's positive, it is icosahedral. And if it is negative, it is helical. Now further on, it could either be naked or enveloped because a hedral part, now we are discussing the envelope part. And the helical is usually enveloped. We have taken, for the sake of simplicity, we have taken the naked part. We are only discussing that most are enveloped, so we're discussing only that. Now, the mnemonic here is chirpy, crafty, bad, prof. Chirpy stands for, it is a location-based virus that uh, the mnemonic for this one is California people are happy. The Rio people are spicy or corny. So the names, family names are California, Khaleesi. People are happy. So happy. And Rio people are corny. So we call it Picorna. So the first family is complete. Khaleesi, happy, Rio and Picorna complete this mnemonic right here, chirpy. Okay, we'll read the details further on. Now move to this part. The next mnemonic is crafty. So here we have, it's a party set. These viruses look like they're having a party. First of all, we have a corona. Corona is a virus, but it also is a name of a drink. So someone is having a corona at a retro party and Flavi is also there wearing a toga dress. Tre toga dress is like a long dress. So the names for this part of the mnemonic are C for corona, R for retro, F for Flavi, and T for toga. So we are done with this. And for bad prof, we have Banya, Arena, Banya, Arena, Delta, Paramixo, Rebdo, Orthomixo, and uh, I think Philo or Philo, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Now, the further uh, division is, I think we should do the exceptions first. For example, if you see, I have boxed Rio as well as written DS because it is the only RNA virus that is double-stranded. So we have our first exception here. The bad viruses, which are Banya, Arena, and Delta, they are circular, okay? And the R viruses, which I have put a square on, uh, Orthomixo and Rio. They are, uh, what about them? I've written here, they replicate in the nucleus, okay? The R viruses, they replicate in the nucleus. So we have rule number three here. The, okay. 
No, um, I'm sorry, I said the wrong thing. I have drawn this uh, diamond here, which means these both viruses, that is retro and ortho mixo, they replicate in the nucleus. Then the Burr viruses, which have been boxed like Panya, Arena, Ortho Mixo, and now Rio. Uh, now I'm saying the right thing. They are segmental. Okay. You have to watch this video again and again so you understand. And uh, um, they are segmental and I have boxed them right there. Okay. Now that we have set the rules, let's read this together. Uh, first of all, we did that California people are happy. The Rio people are spicy. So we did this part. Now the Calici viruses and the Rio viruses are both diarrhea viruses. Calici cause uh, is uh, further divided into the norovirus division, which causes viral gastroenteritis. In Rio, we have rotavirus which causes acute infantile gastrovillus destruction and quality virus, which causes the Colorado tick fever. Um, and then, do we have any other rule? Okay, no. Hep E is simply HEV, the hepatitis E virus, which causes fulmin fulminant hepatitis. Um, this cause spread is picooral, and it causes patchy necrosis on a histopath. And for picorna virus, we have the perch mnemonic, which is basically the opposite of chirp. So perch is basically uh, polio, echovirus, rhinovirus, coxvirus, and HAV virus. Here I have written one important point for each of these. For example, for polio, you need to know about the SALC or the sub seven vaccine. For the echo virus, you should know that it causes aseptic meningitis. For the rhinovirus, you need to know that it causes common cold. For the Cox virus, you need to know that it causes the hand, foot, and mouth disease, myocarditis, and AM. I don't know. Please consult FA for that. Because sometimes you forget your own stuff. Okay. My purpose with this chart was that I put I've put maximum information in here so that I don't need to open FA again. But I guess this. Okay, now the next ones are the party viruses. Corona is an exception because it's a helical virus. I have written it here. Uh, all others are ecosahedral and positive. So Corona uh, is further divided into Corona, SARS, and MERS. The retroviruses are segmental. Uh, sorry, they uh, replicate in the nucleus as uh, it is signified from the diamond shape. The further call cause HIV, the HIV virus causes AIDS, the HTLV virus causes T-cell leukemia, and has a reverse transcriptase. The flavivirus, we have all these viruses under this division, and the mnemonic for this is washed by, washed up or washed by. Now read it with me. For W, we have West Nile virus. For S, we have St. Louis encephalitis uh, for h we have hcv for d dengue and for y yellow fever so we have covered all our flaviviruses now move forward to the toga viruses the rubella virus you have to know the difference between rubella and rubiola rubella viruses cause German measles, they are toga viruses, which are now read backwards. They are enveloped, icosahedral, positive single stranded RNA viruses. Okay. The EE viruses, they are the Eastern and the Western equine viruses, and the chikungunya virus. Chikungunya virus. The mnemonic for this I have written here is C R E W Q. Now uh, let's go move forward to the bad broth. The Banya viruses are also location-based viruses. Their name look like uh, locations or you can use this mnemonic, which is bun catchers. The Banya viruses are further divided into bun catchers. 
the C for California encephalitis, the other C is for Congo, and H is for ha uh, Hanta. Hanta causes hemorrhagic fever and pneumonia. The R causes rift belly fever. The S is for sandfly fever or whatever sandfly. Arena viruses have two L's. The Lassa, your Lassa viruses, virus is spread by rodents. The LCMB virus is has, I think, uh, the lymphocytic choriominingitis virus. Yeah, it's the name for it. Lymphocytic choriominingitis virus, LCMB. So the arena viruses are Lassa and LCMB. The Delta viruses are HDV, and HDV is famous for what? It is famous for super infection. And for prof, paramyxoviruses, we have parainfluenza virus, which causes cru, RSV virus, which causes bronchiolitis, the MMR, mumps, measles, uh, RSV, no, rubella virus is the name of measles. That you have to remember. The rubella was German measles, and the simple measles were the rubella virus, are caused by rubella virus. Now move on to the rhabdoviruses. Uh, it causes rabies, and you have to uh, remember this um, bullet-shaped, um, it's the shape of the, I don't know, plus the negri bodies, something bullet related to rabies. I think it was the shape of the virus or whatever. Please confirm. Orthomyxoviruses are, um, the, since there's a diamond, the diamond means that these are your, okay, the diamond means, we are at the orthomyxo, the diamond means here I've written, my things have moved. This is what I hate about it. Okay, orthomyxoviruses replicate in the um, nucleus. Yeah, I've written here the or orthomyxo and I think um, retrovirus. They replicate in the nucleus and orthomyxo causes influenza. Now the phylo or the phylo virus, virus causes very weird things, Ebola and Marburg. So here we are done with the reading of this um chart i did share the pictures of it on my instagram page but you guys were adamant that i also read it with you guys so we're done with it the last uh, information is that rota virus vaccine is not given to those with intersusception or skin okay thank you everyone thank you so much